Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a couple years ago. Well, I have this image and also I made this image by Adobe Photoshop used a filter called Fine Edges, like line drawing image. I just want to try use the smudge tool to create another image. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to use this main image, uh, duplicate image, and uh, I'm going to turn the base image when it's off. Then I'm going to work on this image first. I'm going to smudge all the image. Oh, uh, this image with I like Larapuna. I don't know what to call. Um, I call Larapuna or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna smudge all the image on this. First, go for herself, like her from head, and also all the face. It's gonna combine together to the base image, real photograph. So uh, it's gonna show up. So. Now it's just smudged. Also, um, since I'm using that uh, this image, I'm, I can do it. I create anything I like. So uh, let's try some kind of intuition to use. This smudged image it's going to show up like a, like a painting or something like that, after all. I use a smudge tool for small brush size. I'm not going to make a real sort of abstract image when you make this brush size bigger. It goes to real rough image makes more abstract so now i want to see some detail just so you can tell what that is okay almost now for main subject pretty much them for smudge overall now I can you still can tell what it is right because this smudge tool is small one so you can take I mean uh, you can see just but now I'm gonna smudge on a little bit bigger brush size to get more close to the abstract image, just a lion and stuff. But you still can tell the dark side, light, light, lighter side, of course. But outside, just like this picture this is now outside right so just go bigger use the bigger brush size to just smudge it so you cannot tell what that is so which is just mm, take that take out as an image like here too, smudge it from outside, white border area to inside. You're gonna just hide it. Same thing, I'm gonna use now, paint brush, then take the white, use the same brush. We have same brush, same smudge tool, you can use so now I'm gonna use brush 
to semi layer. Use the wall, I mean uh, white, then almost same size of the brush. Now I'm going to use it white. To pin it on this image. Now you have the outside white, right? Just uh, I just want to show you guys. You just control that uh, how much you want to show the image. But now I want uh, paint it on. Now I'm gonna go back to smudge to this. Then uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller brush size. The reason why I go back to the to just smudge because I'm gonna make mask to selective area to make the image so you don't need to uh, paint it on like this. Okay, almost done for smudge. We have this um, base image, Shepard photograph. So I'm gonna mask that image too to show this model's face clearly. Now, I'm gonna some paint. Well, I'm gonna just make a mask on this smudged, uh, smudged layer. Okay, make mask, then invert mask. Now, I use the uh, brush. We're gonna use painting to Saramanca. Okay, on um, white to reveal on um, this mask. Make it a little bigger. Now just think how much I want to show this image. I'm not gonna show everything. I painted it to show some from here. Oh, by the way, I have this line drawing type image, right? So I'm gonna change layer mode. It's now normal now to darken. So we can see through underneath the image and opacity 50%. We see the line image. This layer mask covered base image. So I'm gonna reveal again, continue to reveal this. Maybe fade down just a touch more on this line drawing image. Touched about maybe 35% or so. Now I can tell where the model's image is going to be. So, oops, what I'm doing now. I'm doing, painted on this line drawing image. No, nope, go back. Okay, now I'm going to reveal on this mask. Okay, I want to see this image. Doesn't have to have all the colors on the image. Since we can see the line image, you can tell what that is. So let's try that uh, add layer, then 
brush. Now kind of interesting. Let's see what's this. Hmm. This one is something. Paint. It's going to change the brush texture. When you take the pen out, it's going to change. That's kind of uh, mm, no control, huh? Okay, let's try this. To paint it on this base. Okay, choose the color. Now, what colors uh, should I? Mm, since her kimono is a red base, so I go with real light bluer color, then make it a little bigger, real shallow. On this new layer, Just colored on this side of the wall. Interesting texture. You can hear the sound. I'm tapping on my pad, so it's gonna. Paint a little dark, has a little texture on it. Interesting. Well, just leave this one now on this layer. I can turn on and off later. Okay, let's continue to. I mean, uh, Take the mask, this mask, with the white and brushes. Go back to uh, what was it? Salamanca or something? It's damp brush with this, huh? So I, I'm gonna name it this one. Rename dump damp brush, not dump damp. Okay, then this is okay. I'm gonna take this mask with now. What? Yeah, that was a salamanca on this. I'm gonna. Rename on the name of the brush on layer's name. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget. Now, this is smudged image. Okay, that's just remain, rename smudge, smudge image. This is layer one base. So, I'm gonna rename also. Uh, base. Okay, this is line image. So now we have all the names line, damp brush, Salamanca brush to reveal, then smudge the image, then base image. Now I want, well, I want to make mask on this line image. I'm gonna make mask, and then I'm gonna invert this one too. And then I'm gonna well reveal from this line image to show that. Uh, let's see, hundred percent. 
on this to show some here I will show her shape hands outline of the kimonos well now I'm gonna opacity up to 70% or so it's gonna show more darker yeah about 70% now reveal let's see how much we have okay you can tell where the line drawing image are so well let's There's no lines on here, so I'm not gonna touch, but we have here, so I'm gonna reveal. On this chair shape. And also, this is interesting lines here too. Curve lines, not everything. Selective image. Now, the color of the, this blue is something, <coughs> makes something problem. It's too strong and I won't change the layer more. Okay, let's, I'm going to change the color. I don't think I can change the color on this no color saturation or something like that I don't know I haven't color balance okay hue saturation now use the pencil oh it's gonna turn okay that's interesting okay I'm working on this damp brush layer change oops not paint color yes use the pencil to color balance brightness let's see in this layer on this that's right, here saturation, layer, turn into, oh, everything. Hmm, this is interesting. Changing all the colors I just touched. Here, look at this. Give you so many color variations on this. That's interesting. Well, I can play around with this. Okay, go back to smudge mask on here. Again, use the white brush. Reveal on this. Show more kimono. As I said, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show everything on this smudge image. Let's see the balance. This is smudge to image, huh? Then I masked. I used only this much of the image with mask. Now I want to show her face to be a this much sharpness. So I'm gonna make make mask also on this base image. Make mask and reveal. I mean uh, invert then I'm gonna reveal on this again with same brush now go 100 reveal on this 
now you see clear image on her face but so in that oh okay I'm gonna take this image go up to the smudged image now this is gonna be the dominant so I'm gonna take when you reveal on base image this is a line image okay now I'm only using here for okay this mask is base for base I only the face image use on this just reveal brushes Saramanka then reveal on this okay now leave it fade okay now overall I want to show that only the face from base image then other than that almost models image is going from smudged layer so I'm going to reveal on this just a little bit fade now about this damp brush where was a damp oh there we go I'm gonna paint some on this the other side too same thing I'm gonna use that Q saturation and pencil Interesting effect on this damp brush. Now again, hue saturation paint. Little more here. Yeah. Now I think I reveal this this image that have some Salamanca. Okay, almost done. Just a touch. 36% for saturation, desaturated those colors, background colors. Then I just want to see different colors. This is cool, cold, same. Yes, this is fine to me. This is too much saturated. So desaturated, 30%, 40%. Yeah. 35 and then bright dark if it is fine to me I guess that's it for today of this image well thank you for watching my video um, I really appreciate to support me um, guys have a nice day and see you next time ciao